Brainerd coach Jim Ernster said their goal was to win three games down in St. Paul. The Warriors came up only one goal short, but they definitely surprised some people with their play throughout the tournament. Doing this this weekend and, and this week, I, you know, it, it pushed our program and I think it really got our community involved. And, you know, it was, it was a good thing all around, even though, you know, it didn't end up where we wanted. Edina will take the headlines of winning their third consecutive state title, but no one will forget the incredible play of Olivia King, who made 51 saves for Brainerd. She kept us in the game. It was, I mean, it was, she bailed us out countless times. It was, I mean, she had our backs even when we didn't have hers. Brainerd spent a lot of time in their defensive zone, due in part to the Warriors getting called for seven penalties, including a five-minute major and ten-minute misconduct. I didn't think, you know, we were particularly aggressive. Um, you know, I just thought they were, you know, the referees were kind of misinterpreting some of what was going on on the ice. The culture that these seniors continually have left behind the last few years is one that's going to you know, stay with our program and continue to help build it. Brainerd Little Falls led all teams at the state tournament with four players being named to the all-tournament team. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.